Hi, Ian Cohen once again taking you behind the scenes here at Melbourne Park and with me is Tom Lana, who's the Operations Manager for Tennis and Tom, we're bumping in, there's lots of activity but for you the process starts a long time ago. Yeah it does, we start in November uh, across various parts of the site, uh, this year we've got new areas of the site as well so we've got the National Tennis Centre, uh, another 21 courts over there, a new entry for our, um, for our patrons. Uh, but the Garden Square, Grand Slam Oval, up on the burn with our sponsor suites, we start uh, in late November and right through, right to uh, the night before uh, the main draw of the Australian Open. Everyone's working very hard in their fluoro vests, the forklifts are underway, we can see them and hear them unpacking the truck behind us. But how many people do you have on site and what sort of operators? Uh, we have uh, contractors who are putting up marquees. We have contractors who are uh, from our catering company. We have um, all sorts of builders and we have probably 250 or to 300 on site in our busiest day. So it's a lot of people on site. The toughest jobs are just the amount of time we have to get the stuff out. So a week after the Australian Open final, or less than a week, we've got concerts, we've got dance parties. So we've got to be out within of the main areas within three days. So actually, Coordinating to have everything out in that time frame is probably the most difficult aspect. And Tom, when you have a look at it, uh, you must get a, a sense of pride, I suppose, when you see all these things up and going. Yeah, it does. the site really comes together toward the end and you're always a little bit nervous about how things are progressing, but thankfully not too many issues at the moment. We're heading in the right direction, but it, it, it really looks fantastic when we're done. This year, no doubt, the best ever. Well, from the heat and industry of outside, we come into the beautiful air-conditioned comfort inside of the corporate suites and the Director of Commercial for Tennis Australia is Steve Ailes. And Steve, wonderful facility here. Tell us all about it. Look, this is one of the many corporate uh, areas we have uh, right across the venue, um, providing for the silver service at the highest end and those who want a better experience uh, indoors, in the cool, as you said, air-conditioning and great locations right here. The bump-in takes literally days and days, if not months of preparation, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, when all the infrastructure that's coming in, um, and most of it, of course, here is temporary. Uh, it takes a while, but look at the outcome, um, some great areas. Steve, what sort of numbers are we talking about that come in and enjoy this sort of uh, corporate hospitality? Yeah, we're talking between 40 and 50,000 visits for people. So, you know, it's a, it's a great corporate offering because, of course, it's the men and the women um, that love tennis and, and that's unique in some respects so uh, look it's a great experience for them and of course as well as the fantastic uh, corporate areas there should be some pretty good tennis on the courts as well. Well how does it work? Do you have two sittings? Do you have an afternoon lunch sitting and then go into the evening? Yeah each session uh, starts um, at, with people coming in having some food have some drinks out to the tennis and then they'll watch the matches be able to come in and out each time um, there's a break or between matches and then when that session's finished we basically replicate that in the evening. Terrific, Steve. I'm looking forward to uh, my invitation. <laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs> Absolutely. Steve Ailes there joining us as a part of going behind the scenes here at Australian Open 2013.